guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to be using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palettes. I already had a video filmed but I was not like content with the content so I just decided to delete it, put it to scrap and just re-film um, it and I'm going to actually create a different look. That day I forgot scissors and so I made sure I brought them today. So yeah, I'm very excited because I do want to create a very dramatic look and just, I don't even know what colors I want to play with, but I know I want something dramatic with lashes. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I am going to tell you that for my face, to prime it, I used my Tatcha The Water Cream and I sprayed this e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Mist. This is almost done, so I'm going to have this in an empties video coming up. I hope that you guys like this setup a little bit better. I don't have my vanity yet, but I found the piece to my ring light that was missing, so I'm very glad that I have that now. Um, it is pretty hot in here because of the... Um, I told you guys before, if you guys seen my last video, I have like the heat going on, so it comes on and off, so if you hear it, I'm sorry, but it's going to be coming on and off here and there. So yes, I primed my eyes, sorry, I primed my eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This foundation is almost used up, but I just use like a little bit to prime my eyelids. And today I am going to be trying for the first time for me a technique that has been talked about a lot and it's to not set your eyelids. So that is exactly what I am going to do. And yeah, let's just get started in this video. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we can start my eye look. I also forgot to let you guys know I did do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, I might go back in in a little bit when I'm done with my eyes and fix them. I have my banana handy, it's like really early in the morning. But now that I have told you everything that's on my face, let's just go ahead and for real for real get started. All the shades are like on the back, which is a little bit annoying. I'm going to go in with the shade Pukey, and again, not setting my eyelid because I wanna try this new technique today. I'm going to go in with this Morphe G17 um, brush. This is from their gunmetal collection so I'm not sure if it's available or not anymore but I'm going to dip into that shade Pukey as I said and I'm going to apply this to my crease and I can feel like this is my first time doing this and I can feel how my base is a little bit tacky so I feel like my brush getting a little bit stuck here and there but it's okay because I have tried this palette twice now and I've heard, besides me trying this palette, I've heard, and I'm pretty sure you guys have too, how great that this palette is. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the shade right below it, which is called Roxanne. And I'm basically going to apply that just below where I applied that first shade. I'm going to stamp it first where I kind of want that product to lay. And then I'm going to go on with the same brush and just gently more in circular motions spread that product around where I placed it. Okay, I'm going to go in with this more purpley shade and the shade is called um, Chip. So I'm going to grab my Morphe E18 brush which is more of like a very small precision pencil brush. I'm going to dip in there twice and just apply this to the very outer corner of my eye. If you see, I am stamping it where I want this product to be placed. I'm gonna go back, grab maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and after I have dispersed that product where I want to in the outer corner, I am going to grab the same Morphe G17 brush and slightly just blend the edges if there are any. So I'm just going to be going circular motions throughout my crease and touching very lightly that purple shade that I laid down, that chip shade. It sounded like I said shit shade, but that chip shade. And just very lightly blending out, like I said, any harsh lines because you do not want that. I'm going to, as we all know, the little Lindsay Henrika's little tip and trick is curl my eyelashes, although I am adding 
false lashes today. I definitely want them to blend in with my natural lashes. So in order to get that going, I'm going to add mascara. I mean I'm going to add, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I think I want to go in with this teal shade, which is called Jada. So I'm going to go in with my finger. This is the first time I'm dipping into the shade. It is very pigmented, and as you see, it comes off more minty green. And I'm going to apply this to my eyelid. And then I'm going to just ever so slightly spread that evenly across my whole eyelid. I can see and feel that this eyeshadow is a little bit drier and it's not necessarily a bad thing but I can feel the dryness of the shadow. So this is like what the shade looks like and that is like the softest swatch in the world so it's not really like even a full swatch so it's just a very very light wash of color and then you just have to build it up a little bit um I'm gonna go back with that chip shade which is the shade right here with that same pencil brush getting a little bit of product on my brush and I'm just going to mainly blend out these edges because that is something that my finger couldn't really do. So that is like my main focus right now. For mascara, I'm going to apply the Clinique Jumbo Jet um, Mascara. Okay, so I have applied, I applied, I have applied my mascara. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation very quickly and then um, apply my lashes. So for foundation today, I'm going to use the NYX Total Control foundation. Oh, there goes the heat. Sorry if you hear that again. Sorry. This foundation you have to make sure that you do shake up so that it can work well. Um, I'm going to put one drop to begin with on each side of my face. I have this e.l.f. like a flat brush. I am going to use that to spread out the product. That gave me a decent amount of coverage. I'm going to go around with my beauty blender and just pat everything into my skin to make sure it becomes one. And then I want the slightest tad bit more coverage. So I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 128. Apply a little dot of that to my brush okay and then I'm going to spread that around just everywhere around my face and then again I'm just going to quickly use this to blend it out and then go back once again with my beauty blender Okay, go ahead and just disperse it around the skin like I just said with my beauty blender. And I just feel like this gives this technique gives a little bit more coverage because you're dispersing the product first and then just making it blend in more with your skin as if you were just to go in with the product straight on the beauty blender. I feel like it eats more of the product up so in a way you are getting more sorry you are getting um, more worth out of your money doing this and then for concealer I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Urban Decay Naked Weightless Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral I tried this um, I tried this concealer out like not too long ago for my battle of the concealers and I honestly forgot how much I really love this concealer and it's just a like it's more of a natural concealer but it has the coverage there you know so I don't know I really do like the consistency of 
this product, so I really want to get around to using it again. If you haven't checked out my Battle of the Concealer videos, I will leave the links down below. And also, there should be one coming out this weekend with... I had to go get it with the last winner which was the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This concealer is awesome not only for concealing but for like spot concealing the days that you don't want to wear foundation and you don't want to wear a lot of makeup. If you just have a couple blemishes or red spots that you want to cover this will cover it for you and when I was doing the review for this versus the NARS one um, this one was only $7 on the Sephora website. I bought it for $14. So like to think of it as half off and it's a really really great product and it usually runs for $14 like I just said. It's not all high up there in price but it's still, still like at a more higher price point you know. So I don't know. I really really like this one and it's more of a high end one so I really do like it for the price that it's at especially right now and the consistency and just like the way it works so I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce that on my bridge of my nose okay so I went ahead and settled my under eyes with this very small precision brush this is a Morphe E27 I like to set my under eyes with something very small and precise so it can get, sorry, so it can get like every little wrinkle and just like every little part under my eye, you know, which you might miss. So I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face with the Morphe E4 brush. I really, 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 really love this brush. Um, for setting, for contouring, this brush is amazing for contouring. Jaclyn Hills brush collection that she just came out with I believe has a similar brush to this so I mean it's all from the same company but if you want to look for something that is not necessarily from the Jaclyn Hill palette because that is kind of expensive you can just get this and it's pretty much the same thing I heard many reviews on the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe brush set that like a lot of the brushes are literally just the same exact brushes that were out before just in like different packaging and of course like in a different bundle so I just heard that they're like very similar to the brushes that Morphe had before which is nothing wrong with it but I'm just saying so if you guys don't want to go ahead and purchase the whole thing like there's, def there's definitely dupes out there for you okay so I've gone ahead powdered my face applied my foundation and applied my concealer I am going to then contour my face and I'm going to use something that I definitely have talked to you guys about and this is going to be my Too Faced Contour Palette. I mentioned this in my favorites and this is the Too Faced Little Kabuki Brush. It's very very thin, very good for contouring and I have mentioned that I use it with this specific palette so I'm going to use it today. I'm going to use both the medium contour and the dark contour and just gently apply that to my cheekbones, or not my cheekbones, but like my little contouring bones that I don't really have. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that medium contour because I specifically do want to contour. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Do you guys see, like, that precision line is so, like, good. And, like, you can easily go ahead and just blend it out with this. And it leaves you with that, like, really, really good sharp line. But it's not, like, super sharp, like, whoa, goddamn, like, but you didn't blend that out, you know? So it's really good, and I really do like it. This palette also smells like cocoa, which is super duper awesome and just a plus. So yeah, and that's like what it's looking like. You can go ahead and blend that out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit mixture of the both and just apply that to 
the outer perimeter of my face and the forehead just to make everything even. And for blush, I'm going to go in with this Amuse Beauty Blush. I don't think I've used this ever. Yeah, no, I haven't because it's like not open. It's pretty bright. I kind of want to go in with these uh, top two shades and this palette is in the shade Hot Fuchsia, okay? So I'm going to go in with these two top shades, mix it in with that same Morphe E4 brush and I'm going to go in and just apply this to my cheeks. So I feel like the shade that is coming off of it is very pretty, but I feel like if you had a very dark skin tone, I don't know how well these shades would transfer onto your skin. So that is just something to keep in mind in. But like, I mean, it is only a dollar, so if you were to buy it and it were to not work out for you, it's a dollar, so it's not too, too bad, but you can try it. And I mean, you can use these as eyeshadows too, so there's like... A bunch of different ways that you can use different things. Okay, and then next I'm going to apply this MAC Pro Longwear Lip Gloss in the shade Ready or Naughty. And I have spoken about this before. I am, sorry, I am running low on it, which kind of sucks. You can then tell like how much I love this lip gloss if I am running out of it. So, it's something good, but something sad. Okay, so I have already applied that MAC Pro Longwear Lip Gloss, and then I am going to go back in with that brush, the Morphe E27 brush, go in with the Makeup Revolution highlighter in the shade Vivid, yeah. And I tell you guys how much I love this highlighter, maybe since I have my ring light you guys can see the come off better but it is very blinding and it doesn't really, I don't have a lot of texture but it doesn't emphasize texture a lot which is really really good because it's more of like a sheen than like sparkle and glitter and then for the inner corner I'm going to apply that same shade or the same highlighter shade and just Apply that to the inner corner. So today I'm going to be using the Kiss um, False Lashes. And this is in the shade or in the kind poise. I honestly think these are my eye shape. So I'm going to use the Ardell Lash Grip um, Lash Adhesive. So this is like what one eyelash is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and apply the liner. I should have applied that before. But it's okay because I'm just going to do it now. Okay, you guys. So I went ahead. I applied my lashes and my liner. I also sprayed my face with the NYX First Base Setting. Um, it's like a setting base kind of. And I set my makeup with that. And this is what the final look looks like. I really like the teal that, like, I, that I applied on my eyes. And I really like how, like... I told you guys earlier the contour kind of matches the transition color in my eyeshadow so I really really like that and yeah I hope you guys very much enjoyed this tutorial um, so I'm going to go ahead and start making my way there um, yeah again I hope you guys really like this video and I will see you guys in my next one if you guys haven't subscribed already please subscribe if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more kinds of these videos please leave a comment down below or any comment of your liking if you made it to the end I like a little dolphin emoji so I know that you made it to the end and thank you guys so much for watching I really really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next one bye